God wants to take us to the next level of being free. We become so legalistic in the church and legalism just takes over. What's happening is not just happening in a traditional church. People were having these experiences but had no place to go. Bishop Morton helped to teach all of us. How important it is that we do not allow ourselves to be incarcerated by denominationalism. We are free to think and to experience God as individuals. The Spirit of God was moving in a very significant way amongst a particular group of people, and people just didn't understand it. Families split. I saw relationships and friendships split. I saw churches split. Many said it's, it's a temporary thing. It's going to pass off the scene. It's, it's not going to last. It's, it's just um, a now event. I really could not fathom that this man was out of control. Just because you're a preacher, just because you've done good, uh-uh, I'm bringing you down to a level where you're going to have to learn how to listen. When people found out it's okay, it, it's, it's God glorifying, it brought freedom. Coming up on Greater Change Ministries. I'm going to show people the same people who laughed at you. The same people who mocked you. I am going to show them you done laughed at the wrong person because I am getting ready to raise them up. The Bible says after the judgment, after the shame, after this, this disappointment, the land of Israel will be restored and the people will know that the Lord is with them. People are getting ready to recognize that the Lord is with us. We are taking dominion. And the word that God told me to tell you today, I don't care what you've been through in your past, you have been restored. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. We greet you in divine love. I'm so excited about what God is doing in this season. I have been doing a series on taking dominion. I believe that this is the season for the people of God to take dominion over every area in your life. Taking dominion simply means taking charge, taking authority over the enemy. We're going to go in and we're going to be blessed by this word. I want you to take dominion as you listen to this word, taking dominion. If I receive this kingdom constitution, the word of God, with my mind only, this word will be dead for me. This word will not help me. But if I receive this word, this Bible, this kingdom constitution with the spirit over my mind, over my emotions, over my fleshly desires. This word will be life for me. Lord, I don't need religious form and fashion. I need life. Look at somebody and tell them, receive life. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Today we are going to go to Joel, the second chapter, and we will focus in on verses 23 through 26. This month God is speaking some things to us, and I want us to receive what he has for us. Joel, the second chapter, verse 23. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. 
for he has given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse 25 says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people. People shall never be ashamed. The key word in this season is the one word that I will focus in on today, and that one word is dominion. Look at somebody and tell them dominion. Thank you, ushers. Dominion, dominion, and I'm speaking it because God told me to speak it, and I speak what God tells me to speak, that this is the season that we must take dominion. In this season, we must take authority, we must take power over the enemy. There is a serious enemy that I believe has bothered a lot of people last year and is already trying to mess with you in this new year. It's an enemy called poverty. Some of y'all met that enemy. It's an enemy called lack. Lack is not your friend. Uh, don't, don't, don't try to develop a relationship with lack. Don't, don't tell lack, well, I'm going to try to live with you one more year. No, no, no. Lack don't like you. You shouldn't like it. Lack, we have come to take authority over lack. Dominion, take over. Lack, you have to move out. I don't have no room for you in my life this year. You got to know how to speak to lack because lack will hang around. Lack will... <laughs> lack will hang around you. You got to know how to speak to lack. I believe as you look at Joel, the second chapter in verse 26, the Bible says in this season, and you got to know it, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Mm, some of you, you haven't been satisfied in a long time, but I'm, I'm speaking dominion over your life that you're going to have plenty and you shall be satisfied and it ought to take you to a new level. You ought to right now begin to praise the name of the Lord your God because he has dealt wondrously with you and you don't even have to be disappointed ever again because God is about to Turn some things around in your life. We can read it in the Bible. The Lord worked wonders, wonders, miracles, miracles for the people of God when they were in Egypt. I'm not talking about the promised land right now. When they were in Egypt, God showed them, if you trust me, even in your bondage, I am able to bring you out. Look at Exodus, the seventh chapter and verse three. Um, because God, God had to deal with Pharaoh. Pharaoh thought he was the one and only. He thought that he was in charge. What he said went and that was it. But look what happens. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. I don't know who your Pharaoh is today, but God will harden the heart of Pharaoh. Anybody that is trying to hold Back dominion that God has placed in your life and look what happens and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt Lord not in the promised land no, 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 no. I'll show you right where you are right now in your hard place that I am still con in control and I am giving kingdom 
people permission for a kingdom takeover. Now, you don't have to participate. You don't have to participate in the kingdom takeover, but I made up in my mind, I am going to participate. I'm taking dominion in the kingdom takeover, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Joel 2 and 23, the word of God says now, here's what you're going to have to do. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately. Somebody say moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain. The former rain, not just the moderate former rain, but the latter rain in the first month. Now, Joel 2 and 23, children of Zion, children of Zion, the people of Judah, praisers, people that praise God through it all. Zion is another name for Jerusalem. In the ancient world, cities and lands were widely spoken of as a female person. So our biblical writers speak of Jerusalem or Zion as a mother with children. The mother of Zion. The mother of Zion. Well, I am here to tell you we are a part of that in the new Jerusalem. We're, we're the new children. Just like God has promised the children of Israel, the people of Zion... I'm here to tell you the people of Zion, also included in the people of Zion, is changing a generation. Kingdom people who have decided that it is our time to take dominion. Now, the first thing you got to do, if you're still sad, get over your sadness because the first word that you read in Joel 2 and 23 says, be glad. Look at somebody and tell them, be glad. Man, wipe the tears from your eyes. Be glad because something is about to happen. The Bible says, children of God, rejoice in the Lord your God because he has given you the former rain moderately. Now, moderately, moderately, moderate. I'm from the word modest, unassuming, avoid extreme because it's moderate. Keep within bounds rain because it's moderate rain. Don't go above average rain because it's just average rain. Don't, don't, don't try to get too much at this time with the moderate former rain. I mean, it's, it's fair. It's so-so. That's what was happening in the old season, but in, in the new season. God is saying, I'm going to make your ladder greater, your ladder rain greater than your former moderate rain. So if the former moderate rain was modest, unassuming, avoided extreme, I'm here to tell somebody, you better get ready because God's about to move in your life in an extreme way. See, somebody's not ready for this. Somebody's, somebody's not ready for this. It's, it's not going to be modest. In the past, it's been unassuming. But I'm here to tell you, in this season, somebody's getting ready to notice what God's about to do in your life. Somebody's going, what is going on in your life? It is going to be so evident. I know with moderate rain, you're keeping within bounds. But I'm here to tell you, walls are coming down. 
God is going to show. No, I'm talking about limitless blessings. Oh, I'm prophesying to somebody today that God is going to show you. You better believe this. If you get this, this is going to come in the spirit of dominion. This is going to come in the power of dominion. God is going to do it. He is getting ready to bless you big time. Dominion. Dominion. And I'm not afraid to tell the devil this is takeover time for us. Kingdom people ain't going to be unassuming no more. Kingdom people ain't going to be quiet no more. Every wall that's in our way, we're going to kick it down. Because God is about to show you what he is able to do. Now, now, now uh, look at Joel, the second chapter, and beginning at verse 26, because you need to see this. And, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed shall never be disappointed verse 27 it speaks to us and says and you shall know see sometime is he is he really there and you shall know God said that I am in the midst of Israel. I'm in the midst of changing a generation. I'm in the midst of kingdom people and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. What is this saying? In this season of dominion, you will never be ashamed. You will never, not in this season, be disappointed. Anybody had some disappointments last year? Well, the Bible says, not in this season. Not in this season of dominion. You will not be disappointed. God is getting ready to show you that I am going to show up like never before. You see, shame or disgrace in the past and being disappointed came from the people's condition when they failed to serve the Lord like they should. Now, here's the Lord's promise. He said, I'm going to remove the disappointments because now you have repented. Now you are ready to take dominion. Now you are ready to trust me. See, in this day, the temple of Jerusalem was the Lord's house representing the divine presence in the midst of Israel. How many of you know this is the Lord's house? Here on the west side, here on the east side, this is the Lord's house. And somebody needs to know that deliverance takes place in this house. So people went up to Jerusalem to worship and to meet the Lord. That's what they did in the Old Testament. We're meeting him now in our own lives wherever we go. But Joel promises that the people will again know that the Lord is in their midst because they started laughing at the children of Israel. Uh-huh. God's supposed to be on your side. Where is he? And the devil is trying to do the same thing. Yeah, that, look at how you're going through. You don't have this. You don't have that. Oh, but God said, look, I'm sick of that. I'm going to show people the same people who laughed at you. The same people who mocked you. I am going to show them you done laughed at the wrong person because I am getting ready to raise them up. The Bible says after the judgment, after the shame, after this, this disappointment, the land of Israel will be restored and the people will know that the Lord is with them. People are getting ready to recognize that the Lord is with us. We are taking dominion. And the word that God told me to tell you today, I don't care what you've been through in your past, you have been restored. What does that mean? Well, my store was empty. But today I'm speaking it into somebody's life. It's being restocked. 
I'm talking about God is getting ready to fill you up. He's getting ready to multiply. He's getting ready to give you victory in every area of your life. Restoration has finally come. Restoration has finally come. Oh, sit down a moment. I know somebody says, when, 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 when? I, I received this word, Pastor. I received this word. When is this restoration going to come? Coming, coming to this ministry. Coming to the things that you have for us. Is it going to be in three months? Is it going to be in six months? Is it going to be in a year? No, if we obey God and trust his word. Let's go back to Joel 2 and 23 because you got to receive this word. Be glad. Be glad changing a generation. God has given you the form of rain moderately and he is going to cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain. And here it is in the first month. Praise God, praise God. I am so glad in my life I am taking dominion. I hope that you're taking dominion in your life and it's going to be dominion through peace. Can you rest in God? Can you allow him to have control of your life? Just trust him. He's going to do exactly what he said he will do. I just want to pray with you for dominion through peace because he said, I'll keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind stayed on him. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we're taking dominion now through peace. But in order for that to happen, we have to know you. And if there's somebody right now who's watching who don't know you, let them accept you as their personal savior. And those of us who know you, let us go to the next level where we will constantly trust you. We speak it, it's already done. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus we pray, amen. Well, there's gonna be more, more to this life-changing word on next week. May God bless you, may God keep you. This is our prayer as we continue to change a generation, a greater change. This is the first month, and I, I'm speaking it in your life because I believe, oh, shata basha, I believe God's word. Ah, Bishop William Murphy will tell you, I got my seed in the ground. No more stressing. I'm here to tell you he's leaning in your faith. Oh, God told me to tell you he's this first month. This You ain't got to wait to March. You ain't got to wait to June. You ain't got to wait to December next year. I'm here to tell you right now, right now, right first month. Be encouraged with this new message from Bishop Paul Morton. When you write to us, visit our website or call 1-888-4-CHANGE today. Join us at Changing a Generation, Full Gospel Baptist Church for one of the following services. In Atlanta and Decatur with Bishop Paul S. Morton at Changing a Generation East location, located at 2600 HF Shepherd Drive in Decatur on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. And Changing a Generation West location, located at 3350 Greenbrier Parkway in Southwest Atlanta on Sundays at 11 a.m. For more information, log on to www.cagmen.org. Word Explosion Bible Study. Tuesdays at Changing a Generation's West location in Southwest Atlanta at 7.30 p.m. And Wednesday at Changing a Generation's East location in Decatur at 7.30 p.m. Third Sunday night live. Lord's Supper Communion Service at 7 p.m. Visit us at www.cagmen.org for more information. My at Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church in New Orleans with Dr. Deborah B. Morton at Greater St. Stephen Uptown. This is the temporary location while rebuilding. At Temple Sinai, located at 6227 St. Charles Avenue on Sundays at 8.15 a.m. And Greater St. Stephen East location, located at 5600 Reed Boulevard on Sundays at 10 a.m. For more information, log on to www.gssmin.org. Every Wednesday, Word Explosion and Bible Study at the Greater St. Stephen's East location at 7 p.m. First Sunday Night Live, Lord's Supper Communion Service at 7 p.m. Visit us at www.gssmin.org for more information.
Bishop Paul S. and Dr. Deborah B. Morton. We're changing the way we do church. One church in two states with multiple locations and everyone's welcome to attend. Join us in Decatur at Changing a Generation East located at 2600 H.F. Shepherd Drive, Sundays at 9.30 a.m. And in Atlanta at Changing a Generation West, located at 3350 Greenbrier Parkway Southwest, Sundays at 11 a.m. For information on other services, visit us online at www.cagmin.org for Changing a Generation and www.gssmin.org for Greater St. Stephen. I want you to be a part of what God is doing. If you're in New Orleans, you know where to go. If you're in Atlanta, you know where to go. God bless you. God keep you. I'll see you there. We are shifting from glory to glory. Join us in Nashville, Tennessee, November 4th through November 6th for the Full Gospel Pastors and Ministry Workers Conference at the Embassy Suites Hotel and Convention Center in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The itinerary will include three days of cutting-edge ministry classes and national inspiring speakers, which include Dr. A.R. Bernard of Brooklyn, New York, Bishop Cheryl Brown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Bishop Daryl S. Brister of New Orleans, Louisiana, and Pastor Hart Ramsey of Dothan, Alabama. In honor of the newly elected presiding bishop, Joseph Warren Walker III, please plan to attend the presiding bishop's reception on Thursday, November 5th at 7 p.m., a night filled with fun, laughter, music, and awesome entertainment. The Pastors and Ministry Workers Conference will culminate on Friday, November 6th at 7 p.m. with the inauguration of Bishop Joseph Warren Walker III as the International Presiding Bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International. This historic service will be held at Tennessee State University's Gentry Center, officiated by our founder, Bishop Paul S. Morton Sr., and members of the Bishop's Council, with featured guest speaker, Bishop Clarence E. McClendon of Los Angeles, California. For more details and registration package information, please visit fullgospelconference.org. It's the Pastors and Ministry Workers Conference 2015. We are shifting from glory to glory, November 4th through November 6th in Nashville, Tennessee. Be there. Next week on Greater Change Ministries. You're not going to be able to explain it. In fact, you're going to be looking at some people. You mean, you mean that's for me? You must have got me mixed up with somebody else. No, that's going to be for you. God, God, God's got some things for you. I'm talking about people who don't even know you. God is about to turn it around for you. If you can trust him, if you can believe him, why don't you look at somebody and say unexplainable sources. 